This is Peter from NT Realty and today we're in Kotoli. We're at a beautiful waterside uh, property as you can see. It's a nice contemporary style uh, villa, uh, right on the water. So you've got these steps which go straight into the water. Uh, you can have a, a mooring boy out there to have your boat there. Uh, and that's it. And so essentially what I'm standing now is, is essentially a private little beach. So it's a very, very rare property to have this uh, kind of thing. Obviously, of course, you can pay a premium, but it's a lovely property. I'll show you in a second. It's uh, two bedrooms with two bathrooms, uh, 141 square meters altogether with nice kind of Mediterranean style gardens on, on a plot of uh, 300 square meters in total, plus a garage as well. So let me just grab the, uh, the camera. I can just show you the views. So look at these views. It's December. What do you think of that? So he, these are the views. So Sveti Marco Island. Uh, this is just coming up now on the left hand side. Island of the Flowers directly in front of me. Through the gap you're going straight into uh, Tivat and Porto Montenegro. You've got these great mountains here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So this is uh, Lovchen, Lovchen directly in front and then heading south towards uh, Budva. So like I said, you've got this kind of uh, pebbled area here, which is your beach. Nice Mediterranean style gardens. Uh, really nicely uh, landscaped with uh, citrus trees, olives, yuccas and uh, it's a, oh, some rosemary here. What's that, come quotes? I'm not sure. Uh, here you have the terrace area, lots of space for seating. Great outdoor lighting as well. It's beautifully kind of lit up at night. Uh, as you notice, they've got some uh, CCTV cameras here, uh, and it's kind of all set up for that. Downstairs is the kitchen dining area, and obviously kind of your living space. This is where the second bathroom is, because it's quite handy uh, for, if you want to go swimming in the sea, you've got a bathroom down here, and there's a, a space at the back, which could either be a third uh, bedroom, or it could be, you know, gym space, sauna, uh, whatever you want it to be. So here's the kitchen dining area. And then this is that space that I was talking about here. So two separate spaces here. One set up as a utility space. Here's your little second bathroom. I didn't really point out, but also downstairs uh, on the outside, you have a nice uh, shower as well. So. Uh, you can shower probably with cold water, but straight from the sea. And then this is that other space here, which I said could be used uh, for uh, drying your clothes, obviously. Or uh, you can put a, a sauna or a little gym or something like that here. Or a third bedroom, if you like. So let me just come out. I'll go up the stairs and I'll show you the living room and then the garage and the entrance. So nice materials. You have this kind of... Uh, these stone tiles here, this is very unusual kind of strated uh, stone here. Uh, living space, it is winter so the sun is deceptive, it is December so it's a little bit cold today so nice real farm, uh, farm, fire, uh, log burning fire and you can really feel the heat of that. Let me just open this, good sized terrace here more seating area. It's a little bit in the shade now because it, it is the winter sun. Like I said, it's December. Uh, so the, the sun is quite low. Uh, but this is your, your little slice of, uh, of heaven right on the, uh, on the water side. Uh, and for the quality of the building, the design, you know, it's actually reasonably well priced. And there's a neighbor, obviously breakfast is ready. And let me just take you through. I'll take you to this area here. So you have the entrance vestibule here, storage under the stairs, little half bathroom here, and this beautiful kind of mosaic tiles. More storage, so as you come in, you've got somewhere to put your coats. That's me. Hi. And here. You have the garage, oh, this is actually below the garage, but as you can see here, let me just go down a little bit. So you've got some storage space below the garage. Uh, there we are. He's using it for his wooden logs for the fire. You've also got access down the side of the house, down to the sea. And then this is your access to the house. 
from the main road here. This is the main road. And then you have your garage here. So, single garage, but you can put a large car in there. And it looks like it's motorized as well, so automatic uh, garage doors on that. I'm making the assumption of that, so don't hold me to that, but I think it is. And let me just take you upstairs to the sleeping zones. So I'll take you straight ahead. You have the bathroom. These dark tiles, quite quite effective actually. And then the back bedroom. Lots of lights. You got these great big windows here, and lots of storage too. And then the main bedroom. Nice big double bed, and look at this masses of window space. Great big wardrobes here, and again, well, I'm closing the door, not opening it. There we are. Nice big terrace with the views. So that's it. Just to recap, it's a 141 square meter contemporary villa. Uh, in 300 square meter plot, direct access to the sea. Uh, it's kind of handy for the airport. You're probably about 15 minutes away from Tiva Airport, 20 minutes away from Puerto Montenegro, 15 minutes from T uh, Kotor Old Town, uh, 10, 15 minutes from Plavi Horizonte, and uh, yeah, 15 minutes from Lushitsa Bay uh, uh, Resorts. So I'm Peter at NTRealty.me. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. If you're looking for property, you're looking to buy or sell, please feel free to contact us. Have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe if you're not already. If you want to watch the latest videos, press subscribe and click the little kind of reminder bell. And that's it. Thank you very much for uh, bearing with me. Thank you.